check it out. Check it out. Now, it's a war out here on Mumble Rap, man. Old niggas is coming for y'all. They're tired of the fuckery. They're tired of the skill of color hair. they tired of the goddamn lean. they tired of the Zans. they tired of the perks. they tired of the Gucci gangs. they ready to clap back, and they trying to get y'all out of here. Now, if you guys don't know, there's a huge debate of hip-hop. It's old heads versus new niggas. They beefing like Bloods and Crips, okay? Old heads, they got their cane and their dentures, and they not fucking with the new niggas who dancing and gyrating on their goddamn lawn, and the young niggas is like, why the fuck do you care what we doing? Because we didn't care what the fuck you're doing. We don't care about all that music you were into. Now, recently, I, I had the privilege, the great privilege, of hosting a panel that was a rap generational gap debate. By the way, I love to host panels. If y'all go to university, please give me the, I'll come to university. I'll host a panel. Now, when... I hosted the panel. It was me, Rick Ross, Cameron, Young and May, and Kyle. Okay, two older rappers, Cameron and Rick Ross, and then we had Kyle and Young and May for the newer rappers. Okay, fifteen to twenty years experience with Ross and Cam. There's like five, actually less than five, with like Young and May and Kyle. All right. Now it was a very civil discussion. Civil. You know what I mean? Rick Ross and Cam. They said a lot of this shit y'all doing. I wouldn't do, but I understood how it derived from shit I've done. Shit, I used to rock pink, okay? I was the main nigga rocking pink back in the day. So when niggas come out with different clothing styles and their hair is different, I wouldn't do it, but that's their artistic expression. I ain't gonna judge. Now, Rick Ross also said the same. He thought that an artist should do what an artist wants to do and express themselves, however, okay? Now, the new niggas... Kyle, Young, and May, they were very respectable of the goddamn old rappers or elderly rappers, whatever. And actually, Cam and, and Ross ain't old. But of everything that came before them, they had a lot of respect. Now, that's usually not what we see. And I was pretty shocked, and I'm pretty sure that everybody who came to the panel expected shouting, screaming, kicking, fighting, because it's the old heads versus the new niggas, okay? Now, let's look at actual hip-hop. Let's look on social media. We got Pete Rock, Waka Flocka, they're going at it, okay? We've seen multiple people go at it with an older rapper when they're a younger rapper, or shit, a younger rapper just get targeted by older rapper. That's just what it is. Now, these are the talking points usually on both sides, and I'm going to quote a lot of stuff that Pete Rock said. Pete Rock is like, yo, you little niggas ain't accomplished shit. We don't respect y'all music, y'all music is garbage, and y'all never will impact music like we did, Okay? Now, the new niggas is like, shut the fuck up. This ain't y'all time. It's our time. Let us rock, okay? We don't want to be like y'all. And actually, a lot of the shit y'all hold sacred, we never grew up on. We never grew up on listening to some of the artists y'all love. So leave us the fuck alone. Now, 21 Savage is coming in to add his two cents. And I'm not going to lie, this is probably the most level-headed response I've seen in this entire thing. But this is what he said on Twitter. He said, why do so many of these OG rappers judge a new generation? They say we make drug user music like making drug selling music is better. What's the difference? What about the fact that rap is the number one genre of music right now? None of y'all acknowledge that. Art has been storing cocaine and crack since the 70s and 80s. Did y'all forget about that? Instead of judging, how about y'all make a change? If the message in the previous generation of rap was so good, why did so many of our parents abandon us for crack? Why are we still killing each other? Don't use us as a scapegoat. Our music is just a reflection of what's going on in our community, and all we're doing is using our talent to escape that community. I'm not going to lie. That's very eloquently written, and I know that was written by 21 Savage because I ain't seen no it's a nothing in there. Okay? Is he right, though? He's 100% fucking right? Yo, listen, man. You could give critiques of the new generation there's there's definitely less substance in a lot of the popular music because mumble rap is way more popular and mumble rap has always existed somehow in hip-hop right whether it was ringtone rap or whatever but it's never been probably this uh popular or being on this big a platform right we feel like we look at some of these rappers and usually they were just like one song these guys are driving albums that we're checking out and they're having huge followings on social media right so it looks bigger than any time before in hip-hop history. But what we do have to acknowledge that is good and bad with each generation, right? I mean, 21 Savage is right. Nobody points this out. Rap is the number one genre in music right now. And the reason why when Pete Rock is saying that, yo, y'all can't accomplish as much as we get to accomplish, yeah, because you know why? Like, uh, artists like 
a DMX or a Ja Rule, you got to have those long runs. And you basically had those times where you could come out and sell 5 to 10 million records. Now the market is flooded. If you if you sell 100,000, you really win it. Back in the 90s or at least early 2000s, that was definitely considered a flop. That was a fail. So it's definitely different times. And also the generations, they're adapting to shit differently. The hypocrisy when people are talking about, yo, y'all are fiends. Being a drug dealer is not that much glamorous either. Okay, fine, you can play off the hustler aspect, but you're still pumping poison to the community, right? These people who are rapping about taking drugs, they're pumping poison into their body, and both y'all are still promoting drugs. So I don't think that's a good point at all, okay? I think there's room for discussion on either side. I do want to say that when people start this discussion with disrespect, you can't take them serious, and you can't have a discussion with them. That's when you get a Waka versus motherfucking uh, Pete Rock. That's when you get, I remember back in the day, Nori and, and Vince Staples went at it. You can't disrespect another generation and expect them to have respect for you. You've got to meet disrespect a lot of times with disrespect. So it is what it is. Where do you guys fall on the matter? Does he have a point? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. Also, hit me up on that Instagram. We got new merch, all that. It's Academics. Come on.